Ya. Fine. Thanks. So, first let's discuss about how to size the cable. So, selection, I am giving... Uh, uh, I, I, I am giving that document. So if you go read and read that, you will get an uh, idea of uh, how to set up the cable. So I am mostly focusing on the sizing part as well as the installing part of the cable. So the sizing part, coming to the sizing one. So here we are doing the three things. One is the amperage calculation, short circuit calculation, and the voltage drop. So amperage calculation is like, so a cable is there. Uh, let's see. I am having a 33 kV feeder, which is carrying, suppose, a 20 megawatt of power in 33 kV voltage. So, I want a cable for this. So, I am calculating the current, which is 20 megawatt divided by root 3 into 33 kV, taking the power factor as, suppose, 0.95. And I found a 400 amps is the current requirement. So this is my rated current. This is my rated current. I uh, that need to be flow through that cable rated current. And and also I have to select the cable. So I am laying the cable from this part to this part. And this is a 33 kV voltage. All the equipments in the 33 k voltage, we designed each and every equipment that should be stand. It stands for fault current of 25 k for 4 second or 3 seconds, right? Or for 220k, 40k. So the even the cable also to be sized in the same way, right? Because the cable also should able to withstand for a fault current of 25k. So I have to size the I have to select the cable with respect to that short circuit rating, right? How my uh, what's what is the square mm of the cable I required uh, for the uh, to carry twenty five kilo amps of the current for one second. So that is the one thing we need to discuss. And other thing, so I am sending a thirty three kV voltage here, but I am looking into the phase two ground voltage, so it's coming to nineteen kV. So what is the voltage here? whether it is 18 kV or lower than this. So that gives me a voltage drop or you can say the cable loss, which will affect on the uh, drop in the voltage. So that may this voltage is not sufficient to, to drive that machine or drive that any motor or pump. So that limits you have to be maintained like plus or 10 percent plus or 5 percent as per the client requirement so that is also one factor which will decide to go for a higher square mm of the cable or a normal rated cable is sufficient for your application or what so the third one is the voltage drop so the three three things we have to see when you are sizing the cable when you are sizing the cable when you are selecting the cable depends upon your method of installation depends upon your geographical conditions and the site conditions and the cost everything will tells which is the best cable for your project that is a selection of the cable that you can know when you know the whole each and every part of the cable so that's the way i am asking you to please go through that document please read that then you will get a idea which cable or which manufacturer uh, giving a good good cable with respect to your price. Fine. So now let's discuss about the rated current, short circuit current sand capability, and the voltage drop. So let's go to this document here. Yeah. So come to here. So when I am laying the cable, so method of laying, whether you are laying the cable in the ground or on um, in the air, 
or in the duct how the cable you are laying so mostly we will lay the cable in two ways whether under the ground inside the ground grounded cable or it's a buried cable i mean or otherwise in the air which is exposed to the air so this method of cable installation of the cable will have will affect on the current rating that's we will called as a d rating d rating of the cable i mean suppose from the catalog from the manufacturer catalog i have seen that a 400 square mm cable can carry 1000 amps okay the 400 square mm cable is carrying 1000 amps but when this uh, when i am laying this cable in the ground it is carrying 800 amps when i am laying this in the air it is carrying some 900 amps and when i am laying this in air in some conditions that is that is also uh, that that uh, cable carrying 1200 amps so it depends upon some factors so what are those factors those are one is if you are laying in the ground at a ground temperature will comes when you are laying in the air air temperature will comes so one the factor is the temperature the temperature correction is one of the factor influencing on the rated current and other factors like how much depth you are laying for the for the ground which is not applicable for the air and the soil correction factor what type of soil it is which is again resistivity of soil so it is again applicable for the ground and it is not applicable for the air and the cable distance i mean the for how much distance you are laying the two circuits so it's also one factor and the grouping of the cables to form a trifoil formation or a three formation so that is also when you are laying the cable in the trays that is also one one of the factor which will deviate so this grouping factor uh, distance factor and the temperature factor will applicable for you when you are laying the cable in the air and when you are laying the cable in the ground these two factors will also comes into the play where is the depth factor and the soil correction factor